guys i'm super excited guess what i got a notification from youtube that i'm now at 500 hours from seven hours and i moved to 500 hours in less than two days guys stick with me on this video i'm about to show you the methods the simple method that i use in achieving this okay hi lovelies you're welcome to another informative video okay my name is gochi and on this channel i bring you information useful information on how to grow your youtube channel okay so i'm giving it to you as it's hot I'm dropping it like it's hot like i promise okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the simple tips that i use to grow my watch time from seven hours to 500 hours guys i'm not going to you like i was really surprised i didn't even know that what i was doing was working okay so guys listen to me please stay with me on this video i'm about to share with you the simple tips that i use the simple methods very simple it was just organic natural i didn't even know it was working but it did work okay all right so let's get straight into it the number one thing i did was posting consistently guys this thing is not a joke like when when you hear people say post consistently they're not joking it works i mean i used to see it appear on my feeds then when people you know some creators would be like post consistently and i felt like one posting consistently will work now it doesn't mean that you have to post like every day just choose a pattern of posting every do you understand that you can maintain maybe every week or every day it depends on you i took on the challenge of 30 days posting and guys i am just in 10 days 10 days guys and look at the tremendous changes when my channel when my watch hours at seven my watch time was at seven hours guess what guys that was the time the period if you've watched my previous videos you would hear me say that my channel was static for a very long time like I wasn't consistent. I, was, I stopped posting consistently for 10 months. Okay. So, and I just decided to wake up my channel just last month, October. Right. And I took on the challenge of 30 days posting and I'm just 10 days down the line, just 10 days down the line guys. And I mean, so it works guys post consistently, choose a posting pattern. It could be once a week. It could be twice a week. Choose a time, a time schedule for posting and you have to maintain it okay i'll tell you some of the changes some of the observations i've made ever since i started posting consistently one of them is that my content has started to appear on home feeds like people are now seeing my content on their home feed that never used to happen other things that i've done is the use of keywords i never i never really took all of that seriously keywords hashtags and all of that I never really took them seriously but now honestly i am seeing changes so more people are watching my videos as you can see on the screen right now in the past i used to have like you know uh, my views on my educative videos have never gone past 200 but right now i am at 400 500 1k guys that is something to me so i must be doing something differently guys and of course everything i'm doing i'm sharing with you guys like i said I'm dropping it as it's hot. Okay. So that's number one thing that I did. I started to post consistently. The second thing I did was live streaming. I started to live stream. And guess what, guys? I think I've just live streamed four times since I came back, since I started, you know, to revive my channel, right? Which is the month of October. I've live streamed just four times guys live streaming adds to your watch time don't underestimate it when people tell you to live stream it doesn't matter if you have an audience or not right don't even think that oh i don't have subscribers i actually do get subscribers from my life my live streaming okay don't think that you don't have so much subscribers so who are you live streaming to the moment you have up to 50 subscribers do you know you can start live streaming from there once you have up to 50 subscribers you are eligible to live stream and guys live stream works it works for you you would get views that's one you would get subscribers then you would get watch time okay so it doesn't matter if it's just two or three people in your life just go live try and make it engaging with the few people you have on your life and you know as more people are come as more as more people leave more people are coming your watch time or your live stream is increasing even if at some point you don't have anybody there just stay there until you have anybody until you have people join people must join that's the truth People must join because they want to see what this person talking about in their life or what this person is doing. Do you get? Okay. So that's one thing that helped me. Live streaming is one thing that helped me. Now, now, the next method I used was applying the clickbait strategy. Now, what do I mean by that? 
my thumbnails, I had to improvise. I had to take time, spend more time designing thumbnails, design and coming up with, you know, um, click topics that are very catchy, you know? So this is how, this has always been my niche, but most of my videos were the views that I got was actually from sharing my links on WhatsApp or to other pages or to, other, or to other platforms. They weren't really from the YouTube algorithm recommendations. Just being honest. So now, when I came back, when I decided to wake up this, when I started to revive my channel, I decided that I'm not going to do that anymore. I will just make my videos and leave them and allow the YouTube algorithm to do its work. And it's been working really fine. Oh my God. So use of clickbait strategy, which is designing a very catchy thumbnail, using, you know, very bold text on your thumbnails and also using very catchy titles. It helped me to get clicks. Okay. It helped me to get clicks on my video because your videos, you, the algorithm might actually put your vi push your videos out. But if your thumbnail is not attractive, your, it's not catchy, you don't have catchy and enticing title, no one is going to click on it. That's the truth. And once the algorithm has pushed out that content and it's not getting any click through, the algorithm just dumps it. So try, I try to do that. So, and from time to time, I go back, I visit it. I'll give an instance. This particular video, when I upload, this was the thumbnail that I used. Okay, and then I realized after two, after 48 hours, it wasn't picking up. It was just there. It just had about 15 views and it stayed there. I was like, this is a very catchy topic. Why is it not working? So I went back and I changed the thumbnail to this. And then it started to pick up. Right now we are at 500 views from around 15 views, 17 views thereabouts. We're now at 500 views. So yes, from time to time, go back and see what's not working. Go to your analytics. Check what the problem is. Try to change, especially your thumbnails and your titles. Just keep changing them from time to time. It actually does help to wake up your sleeping videos. Okay. All right. So the next strategy that I use, which is actually the last one for now, which I've, I'm still currently applying, is sharing my playlist links to friends and family to just help me stream through my playlist. Okay. So. People watching your playlist, all of your videos compiled in one place can help to increase your watch time. Okay. So that has, I, I did that and I started to observe and watch and I'm seeing the tremendous changes that has been taking place. Okay. So it is very obvious that with all of this method that I've applied, that I'm currently applying, I'm going to get my 4K watch hours in no time. Guys, my goal is to actually monetize by the end of this year. Okay. So. I have just a few weeks down the line and guys, you guys should stay with me on this channel. I'm going to share it with you. Okay. So if I continue using these methods, I'm definitely going to monetize in no time. So guys, these are the methods that I use to grow my watch hour fast. Apply these methods and leave, observe your channel, observe your analytics, come back and leave a comment in this video. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed. If this video was valuable to you, give it a thumbs up and please share. Okay? I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.